Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Ross Chastain's 2022 Advent Health Next Gen 164th Scale Diecast. So, this is the box. As you can tell, it is the same as every other box. just has his name on it and it's, yeah, they're all the same. So, unfortunately not a lot of box art to see. Just pretty much looking at whose name's on it. And then over here you do have the individual sticker, uh, which tells you what the car inside the box is. And that's it. After that, it's all very generic. So, uh, but that's what we have for our art on the box, just so you know what it looks like. Here we go now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the car itself. So, first thing I noticed when I looked at this car was I love the location of the number. I know, it's crazy, right? They just, look at where they put the number. So, I'm going to show you this. That's a track house car. And let me show you the 45 of Kurt Busch. So, Kurt Busch's entire number comes to a halt right about there, right at the little A post uh, there on the front. Ross Chastain's number is like starting at the A post. So that's a big deal because you can tell right here, look at that. Like the car actually looks pretty balanced. Like you, you could actually slide the number just a tick further back. It wouldn't hurt anything. And it would look really good, like really close to balance. That number is not too far out of the way. It's kind of a good focal point. The number one is clearly the biggest deal on the side where you look at the Money Lion car here and that 45 is just like, it's almost like a nuisance. Like, oh, get that out of the way. We don't want that number in the way. We don't want to have that pesky number covering up our, our logos on the side of the car, you know? And again, I don't know that that's not even what they thought because again, that, that little Money Lion logo could have slid down and under and been perfectly fine right there and the 45 could have slid back. This is what I dri what drives me nuts about these numbers. And I've, I will always continue to harp on it little by little because it's such a big deal that they made the cars look so much worse than they needed to. Like I said, you slide that little lion there down right over there, right next to the McDonald's arches, kind of right down in there. And then all of a sudden the 45 is sitting right underneath the window net and the A post. And yeah, it still slid slightly forward, but it still looks good. Look at this car. Look at this, look at this car right here. This car looks a lot better. And all you have to do, that one could slide even more, could slide like you know, another half inch almost, a little, maybe a little less, but you know, slide it back just a tick more and boom, all of a sudden you barely can tell. You could barely tell that they shifted the number four. And if NASCAR had done that, you wouldn't have heard anything. Instead, they've, I mean, I'm not going to lie. They have ruined some of these paint schemes. Some of these paint schemes look absolutely dreadful. And sadly, like I said, this, this is definitely one of them. The 45, unfortunately, is one that did not capitalize on the space. But anyway, let's get into this car. Because that's something I, I finally have a Chastain car I can point out why I love the track house car so much. And that's a big reason. They just knew to slide that number back and put it there, and it looks great. Uh, but anyway, here you can see we do have Advent Health on the front. You can see our Camaro front end. Uh, we got the blue on the sides and then the white hood. There's our hood vents there. Chastain up there on the name rail, or the... Uh, the windshield banner. We got our number one across the roof there. Chastain on the rear window, Advent Health. And we do have Advent Health again on the back. A nice curved bumper. You can see how curved it is. Uh, but there on the side, you do have that number one. You can see the blue, green, and yellow. A little bit of watermelon, you know, right there. So you got a little red with the seeds. Uh, just kind of a nice touch. Got Advent Health there uh, on the side. You also have an ethanol ring there on the back. Uh, you got a big, tall spoiler. Way taller than it needed to be. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, we got Camaro there on the rear. You also have the diffuser. Over to the right side, it is the same as the left. We do have our exhaust pipe just in front of the number there. Uh, like I said, if that, that number could slide... Just a tick further back and, and frankly you wouldn't even know it's a next gen in terms of like number location um so yeah I, I said this is the this is in my opinion this is the show car this is the way to do it this is how easy it could have been and nascar would have had no controversy the cars would still look really really good and i'm telling you the track house cars look like they're the best cars this year they look the best um don't get me wrong i'm a chase elliott fan i really like a couple of his schemes but i just think that all you had to do was be a little smarter with how you move the number and it could have lurked out really great and instead we ended up with frankly a lot of butt ugly cars not this one though this one looks really good so uh anyway guys let me know your thoughts on this car and let me know your thoughts on the number location still i know a lot of people like to say that that, that there's no point in talking about it anymore there's no reason to even go on with it i still think it's an important conversation because i think it's a very it's important to have the identity of the sport which in this case is numbers you know chase elliott's the nine Jimmy Johnson was a 48, Jeff Gordon was a 24. Like numbers are are stronger in this sport than any other sport. And so that being the identity of the car, literally the identity does it deserve the main focal point of the car? And in my opinion, yes. So let me know in the comments though. I'd love to chat about it down there below. Uh other than that guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and um
well, yeah, I'll skip the website plug. We'll do that in the next video. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next DieCast Review.